Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. A really quick fun tip for you today, and this is when dealing with splines. So I have this spline making up this logo. Let's hold control and drag down to make a copy of it. And then let's hit T to scale it. So a lot of times you'll want to take a spline and make it bigger, but follow the contour of the original spline and then maybe sweep it or uh, add some beveling to it. So let's hold down scale and scale up. And you can see that it's not scaling this properly. Towards the middle it is because that's closer to the axis, but as we go out, it's not following the contours. So how can we get this spline to uh, mimic the original spline perfectly, but be able to scale it out or in? And there's a really easy way to do it if you go to your spline tab, and then you go down to clone, there's a create outline tool here. Let's click that. You can see that we have a create new object, which you can do if you want to make a new path. And then we have a distance. So you can either change the distance and hit apply, or you can just click and drag. So we'll just click and drag. Before I do, I'm going to turn off that extrude so we can see what's going on. So if we click and drag, you can see that it's following the contour of the line, but it's expanding or contracting based on if you uh, move your mouse to the left or to the right. And uh, we'll do something like this and let go. All right, so we have made a perfect copy of that spline that follows the contours, but it offsets it a little bit, which is perfect. So now we can take that spline, we can move it out a little bit. Now we can add a circle and we can add a sweep nerve and we'll put the circle and that path into here and we'll make that circle a little bit smaller. Make sure the circle is on top. And now we have a really nice sweep nerve. Now, when you do this technique, it does make two different copies of it, an outer one and an inner one. So what if you only wanted one spline? That's really easy to do. Just go to your path right here. Let's turn off our sweep quickly and go to your point mode. And what you can do is click on your live selection and click one of the points. And then all you have to do is hit U and then W and that's gonna select all the connected points and then you just hit delete. And now we have that inner stroke but not the outer one. We'll turn back on our extrude nerves and our sweep. So it's a very basic little tip, but if you didn't know it was there, it's a very handy one. Hope you guys found that useful. And before you go, let me give a quick plug to one of my favorite products we have at the Pixel Lab. Check out our VDB Smoke Pack Volume 2, where we have taken care of all the technical work. We ran all the simulations and calculated the caches so you don't have to waste your time. Now you can just add these professional smoke VDBs to your scene and get back to the fun things like creating, iterating, and designing. Thanks for supporting our site. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.